Hi guys, this is Sue here and I am feeling like doing a video for the first time for the year 2017. It's been a while and I think it's time for me to start to get back on my bandwagon. I am attempting to create a new YouTube channel and I also I have a few things actually planned and but today I want to just say that this video is going to serve as a coming out video for the new year um, when I say coming out not coming out of the closet because I'm not gay no offense to those who are it's nothing to do with you guys and it's not an explanation video either because I owe no explanation to anyone. I owe no apologies to anyone. I, at least I don't think I do, <laughs> but there's nothing wrong at this side, on my side. But when I say coming out, I mean not caring about what other people think. I don't value the opinions of others as much as I care about what I think about myself. And that's the most important thing in life, I believe. And I've gone through so much persecution in my younger years that I am not allowing anybody to drag my soul and my spirit down into the mud anymore. And so I fear no man. I have learned so much throughout the years that I have reached a point in life now that I feel stronger. I feel stronger than ever before. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm so thankful for that. I want to share what I've learned. I want to share the wisdom and knowledge each and every day that I learn it or that I feel like I've gained some type of truth. I want to share it with someone else because it's not meant to be hoarded. It's this world is ours and we are each other's keepers. It's meant to be shared with one another. If we want each other to progress and to reach to a point where we can stand strong and unite, we have to be unified in knowledge and truth. I tell my children this all the time, but back to the topic, I feel a bit of deja vu because I sense some things going on uh, in social media land in real life and I don't know what's going on if somebody's been saying something about me or whatever if you have a problem with me you need to come and ask me you need to ask me you need to get on your computer your phone or your whatever gadget you have and just ask me if it matters that much to you the thing is I haven't seen people in like probably more than 15 years since we graduated from high school I have not really even been to any of the school events I have not been to reunions I have not I've seen random old schoolmates here there and we you know give each other affection like hey it's been so long blah 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 but nowadays it's like I feel like I'm 16 years old all over again because of what I believe I am strong. I am a strong black empress. I am a queen within myself. I am I don't need anybody else to tell me that. I trust God. God as my creator, as the source of all things, good and bad, because if you read the Bible, you will understand that the devil didn't make evil. God made there such a devil in the first place, right? Right? At least this is the belief. This is what is in the Bible. This is the way it was laid out in the Bible. Therefore, even if you go back to that, <laughs> it makes no sense that nothing else has power over you. You are the power. The power is in it was within you. It always has been. And whatever you believe, whatever you put out there is what you're going to attract, right? So now this is why I was ignoring these things for so long because I don't want to attract that kind of energy into my life. I am so positive and optimistic and hopeful about life and excited about life, about the possibilities each and every day that are given to us, that no man can get in the way of that. I fear no man. I fear no man. I actually fear myself sometimes more than I fear other people because sometimes we allow things from outside sources to get to penetrate our wonderful minds. and. I am so tired of doing that. It's not even funny. I'm so tired. Oh my gosh. I go out with a smile. I, I, I teach 
love and I send forth loving energy. I help people who are in need in any way. I'm not rich, <laughs> but you don't need money to help people all the time. Sometimes you just, you know, have to just do it, go for it. But now I notice there are people who, there's been this rumor from I was in school because one of my teachers, I don't want to even get into that, but she was so adamant about our prayer time before school was out at three o'clock because she was the last period. And one time we were praying, doing the prayer before the bell rang and I bowed my head in reverence and I prayed, but my eyes were opened. And this woman made this an issue until the entire school was now calling me a Satanist or Sue Ellen the devil worshiper because I refused to pray, which was not the truth at all. And I prayed every day because I never had a problem with prayer. I believe in God. What type of garbage is that? And people were coming up to me in school asking me to do spells on other children that they would pay me to do these things. And I refused because I told them that I don't do those things. I'm not a voodoo priestess. <laughs> now, on that note, I do see Christianity as a trap as a lie that Europeans have used for very long, for centuries against our strong people who have been stripped from our land, from our beliefs, what we've known to be the truth forever and ever. And we've been implanted with these lies, been brainwashed for so long now that we can't even see past our own hand. Like, we can't see. We're blinded. And this is why we continue to be oppressed. This is why we can't get anywhere else. This is why our brothers and sisters are being killed. This is why we have so much of the ills and the ratchetness going on in, in society. These people look down on us who have lied to us for so long and we still swallow their lies. What's wrong? with us when you see a strong sister who has a strong mind and a strong heart know that God has ordained her to be that person know that she was born that way I was born this way I did not I, I developed certain things certain characteristics that I thought I admired in other people and I think God planted those seeds within me for me to nourish them and for me to cultivate them, to grow my garden from within. Because the kingdom of heaven is within, it's not without. It's not in the Nikes, it's not in the TV, it's not in Donald Trump, it's not in America, it's not in money, it's not in anything else. The kingdom is within you. And I am sick and tired of people lying on my name. And I remember when I first met my husband, he lived on the opposite end of the island. This is how funny it is. This was maybe a year or two after we got out of school, I met him. And from that far, I was on the west side, he lived on the east side. And you know what he told me? That he was with a friend of his, who was with a friend of mine at one time ago, who I thought was a friend of mine, who was, he was dating her and, and you know, he was trying to date me at the time and they were best friends. So when his best friends at the time, girlfriend found out my name, that I was the person that he was starting to see, she laughed hysterically and I asked him why. And you know what he told me? Wow. She said it was so funny because, oh my God, you liking her? You know, she worshiped the devil. Like, what is wrong with these people? Do you know you eat 10,000 buckets of KFC every day? Do you know your cholesterol is ready to blow through the roof? Do you know that? Like, why y'all worrying? Why are you spitting on me? I'm not, I don't go around doing those things and I don't appreciate people doing it about me because I have a lot in me, a lot in me that I could say and do, but I don't do those things because it's not right and it's not me. I stay true to myself. I stay to myself because I like to avoid stupidity. I cannot stand ignorance and I hate lies. And one thing I want to say right now that whatever you guys have to say about me is not going to stop my flow.
is not going to stop my shine. I'm getting stronger and stronger each and every day. And guess what? I needed this. I needed people like you to bring me to my own truth so that I could stand strong and be the me that God meant for me to be. I have so much inside that it is not funny. But when I'm home, you know what I do? I garden. I love crystals and gemstones. I'm artistic. I sing, I dance. I, I am so full of life and energy and passion that I don't have time for bullshit. And what I wanna say now to everybody out there who watches this video, wake up. Wake up to the truth. Stop being those negative Nancys. Stop being those people that are so consumed with foolishness that you don't even have time. Your eyes are so covered by this veil of lies that you can't even see the truth if it slaps you in the face. Wake up. We have children. We have a new generation that's coming up. We have people like now each and every day being slaughtered on these little streets of Nassau. We don't have time for this. We have to wise up. This is what the enemy wants for us. What is wrong with you people? Open your eyes to the truth. Stop swallowing, being so quick to swallow up everything anybody just says. It's just, if you look at social media, if you post something to say, oh, do unto others as you would have others do unto you, you will get one like. If you post something that shows a black girl ripping out another girl's hair or something like, you know, fighting like cats and dogs in the street. If they like, you know, you'll have 10,000 likes. That's ridiculous. That's, is that the message you want to send to our youth? That foolishness reigns over sense? I am sick and tired of it. And this today is my coming out video. Yes, I believe in God. Yes, I believe in love. Yes. I believe in life. No, I do not believe in slandering other people's names. I do not believe in that. I do not think it's right. And to anybody who has done it to me or who continues to do it to me, I set forth my intention this very day that it will come back to you tenfold and you will regret it. This word will not return to me void. I thank everybody who's been on my team, who's on my side, who, who loved me from day one, who are loyal to me. That's what I value. Honesty and loyalty, truth, love, light. That's the things I love. Anything else? Out with it. So anyway, that's me. Good to see ya. Peace out.